Uh, new at 11, the Las Vegas drag scene is now back after being shut down during the pandemic. That's right. Many entertainers had to get creative during the tough times to make a living. As we wrap up our Pride Month coverage, I went to see Legends in concert and spent some one on one time with the legendary Frank Marino. From the fabulous opening all the way to the end, Legends Las Vegas proving why it's the longest running show in the history of Las Vegas. Frank Marino is at the forefront of the show. I loved Kenny Kerr, you know, his he, he was his he just had that fun personality, but he opened the door for drag queens. I kicked the door down and now RuPaul's keeping it on television as well and doing the same thing for TV as we did for live entertainment. Frank Marino knows a thing or two about live entertainment. Having headlined multiple shows on the strip, making him the longest running headliner in town with over 36 years of experience. Frank says the gay entertainment scene has seen a lot of changes in the right direction. Well, it's unbelievable because like you said, when I first got here, there was maybe one or two bars and it was like undercover. Now they're like out proud and you know, I'm so happy that they can do that. <laughs> to see the legend show at the Tropicana and spend time with Frank in his dressing room. The dressing room fit for a diva. From the crystal mirror to the throne to the closet of dazzling over-the-top outfits. Well, I have to say, you look fabulous. This is a very prideful yes, this dress. This is my pride outfit this year, but you, Miss Thing. Uh, well, listen, I knew that <laughs> if I shoes. came to see, oh, yes, Gian, Gianni Franco Fair. These I wore on my wedding. Wow, they're Last beautiful. time, and I wore them for you. See, and I feel honored. <laughs> <laughs> That's how special you are, Frank. You're hysterical. Your opening monologue, do you come up with all that material? I, I even got nuts. I, I used to spin that toilet paper roll like I was on Wheel of Fortune. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, and tonight I put a lot of new stuff in. I was kind of nervous. If it didn't go over, I didn't want to bomb in front of you. But it did, and I was very happy. And I'm excited about it because it's all current events. It's a brand new monologue from beginning to end. The Legends in Concert isn't a drag show. Think of it as a mini concert with something for everyone in the audience. So you get a mini Tina Turner concert, a Rod Stewart, an Elvis Presley, and the show changes all the time. Like mine was set and, you know, unless people were off, it was the same show. They change it all the time. The show is back in full swing after dimming the lights during the pandemic. Las Vegas was hit hard, but especially those in the entertainment and hospitality industries. I'm sitting at home and I'm not going to lie, the first eight, nine, ten months got really crazy. By 12, I started liking it a little bit too much. Right. So I don't want that to ever happen again because, you know, working keeps you young, keeps you thinking. And I, I mean, the house is so clean, you should come over. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's else, organized. The only thing left is vacuuming the roof and I should be done. Many drag entertainers getting creative as bars and venues were closed. Some taking it to Facebook and Instagram to do virtual shows from their living room and even sharing their Venmo accounts for tips. Now with fewer restrictions, the real fun is back. But is retirement in the future for Frank Marino? I think that I'm going to do this, this is what I say, for five more years and then I want to go back to just traveling and doing what I want to do. So I'm going to give the audiences five more years of my life and then I think I'm going to stop, stop, um, whether it be with Legends or whether it be with Divas. And maybe I'll own the show. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Well, Frank is releasing a new book in August where he talks about how hard it was not to work and how he's planning for his retirement. You can see Legends in Concerts Thursday through Sunday at the Tropicana. First of all, I just want to say I don't mm -hmm. believe he's ever retiring because yeah. he's like a workaholic. It's good to he, see he's gotten over his shyness problem. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's never. Uh, when I yes, tell you, I great. He's so, such a talent. His opening monologue, yeah. hysterical. I'm telling yeah. you, and he's so quick. He's yeah. so sharp. Yeah. Also, by the mm. way, a fun fact about Frank. He told me that he actually wanted to be a doctor. Really? A <laughs> doctor, just like that? Uh, yeah, he, drop in the R? Yeah, he uh -huh. got hired, though, by a show, and that was it. That was his new future. So, yeah. um, you know, he's been in town a long time. I've known him since I first came to town. He's yeah. just a delight. I think he has found his calling. I think so. That is true. <laughs> All right. Well